Hello everyone, thank you for joining us for the Behavioral Intervention Certificate of Achievement Information Session. My name is Lynn Pham and with me I have Miranda McCauley. She's a board certified behavior analyst, uh, the Behavioral Intervention Certificate of Achievement Academic Coordinator and Sessional Instructor. So McEwen University is the second largest university in Edmonton, Alberta. We have almost 13,000 full-time students with an average age of 22 years old. Uh, at the School of Continuing Education, we pride ourselves in our student experience and instruction. Uh, we will be moving to the newest building in Allard Hall, or Building 11, which was built in 2017. With brand new classrooms and technology, uh, in the new building there will be student use meeting rooms, formal and informal study spaces, computer common areas, student printing, public transit options, and increased access to student services and clubs. So now I'll pass it off to Miranda to go over the program. Hello and welcome to the Behavioral Intervention Certificate of Achievement Information session. The BICA program was co-founded and co-developed at McEwen University by Dr. Russ Powell and myself to fill a gap and a need in Alberta for the acknowledgement of qualified and ethical standards in the practice of applied behavior analysis. The BICA program provides a university level graded coursework concentrated in behavior analysis. So the Behavioral Intervention Certificate of Achievement provides students an option to also pursue North American wide certification status from the Behavior Analytic Certification Board. This is at the assistant level. There are also additional requirements to meet the need or sorry to meet the requirements to become a board certified assistant uh, behavior analyst. So you need to go to www.bacb.com to see the additional requirements. So the McEwen BICA program had applied for what's called a verified course sequence status. And first this was uh, re uh, received by the BACB. Then the BACB transferred this course sequence over to the ABAI, which is the Association for Behavior Analysis International. If you go to that website, they will have a list of all the verified course sequences and McEwen is one of those. It is at the assistant level, which is the bachelor level at McEwen. And this provides uh, a level that continues to require supervised practice even after you're certified. So this coursework uh, at McEwen can also be used as a stepping stone into that master's level degree to pursue what's called a board certified behavior analyst uh, at the master's level to practice independent of required supervision. The BICA program at McEwen is the only verified course sequence in applied behavior analysis in all of Alberta and is, own, is, is one of 17 verified course um, sequences offered across Canada. This is a chart showing uh, the worldwide certificate data uh, worldwide. So this is the BC ABA uh, certificate data. So from 1999, the BACB was first established in 1998 and it goes up to the end of last year. And the total number there is 4,044 board certified behavioral analysis assistants. And for the master's level uh, numbers at the end of 2019, there was 37,859 uh, board, board certified behavior analysts at the master's level um, requirement. These are some areas of practice that BCBAs engage in. The, the survey was done in February 2016 and 7,107 BCBAs participated in the survey or the job task analysis survey. The most area that BCBAs often practice in is autism at about uh, 68%. The next area is education, about 12%. Developmental disabilities at 8%. And there is a range of other little um, areas of practice, uh, about uh, 0.03 to about 3% in areas such as uh, sports and finance, gerontology, uh, child welfare, organizational behavior management, public policy, acquired brain injury, and behavioral pharmacology. So there are different student pathways with the Baker program. First, you could be in an undergraduate degree from any university, and you can complete that undergraduate degree and then decide to apply to the Baker program, or you can also take uh, the Baker course courses within your undergraduate degree. Um, so there's that option at McEwen to take the courses along with your undergraduate degree. 
Uh, and then you use that stepping stone to then pursue graduate level, master's level in applied behavior analysis. Some people will do their undergraduate degree, the BICA sequence, and then apply to a master's program and pursue that certification to work in the field. Other pathways is if you're currently working in the field and feel there's something more you need to know, add to your toolbox kit, some additional networking, uh, understanding what this field of applied behavior analysis is all about, you are already in the field, then you apply uh, to the BICA program to get some additional knowledge uh, for your, to your to toolkit. And then you improve your education and resources in the field of applied behavior analysis. And you don't need to pursue certification um, as a BC ABA. So the BICA um, course is five sequences. The principles of behavior and introduction to applied behavior analysis are in the psychology department. Uh, it's Psych 281 and Psych 385. These are your prerequisites. Uh, once you have those prerequisites, you then apply to the BICA program and there's three additional courses. Uh, single case research design, behavioral interventions and developmental disabilities, and then clinical behavior analysis and professional ethics. Each course, um, each class is offered once per semester or per term. The uh, Psych 281 and Psych 385 are sometimes offered online. Uh, so that helps some people who have already have a bachelor's degree to apply as an open study student, take the online courses. And then the three PABA courses are offered in the evening. So those people who are in employment positions already and don't have time to leave to take classes during the day, the uh, three additional uh, uh, courses after the two prerequisites are offered in the evenings. For current McEwen University students, I think I mentioned this before, the PABA courses after Psych 281 and 385 can also be added to your degree as credit courses. So there is also a field placement option. Uh, some students uh, take this field placement, some students don't. Uh, you can start taking the field placement option as soon as you get into one of the PABA courses, and some students wait until they're finished all the three PABA courses to take field, the field placement option. This is so that some students who are looking to accumulate those supervised practice hours that are required to become certified, can you uh, take these, this course to get some hours? It's a non-credit course. What you're doing is you're working in the field, preparing reports, taking data, making materials, working with uh, clients in supervision with a BCBA. You're establishing a relationship and uh, rapport with uh, the BACB. You're required to sign up uh, on that website as a supervisee. You log approximately 140 hours per semester. It's four months or 14 weeks, and you have to uh, commit to about 10 hours a week in the field um, for this field placement option. And uh, you apply online at that uh, email address, bica at mcewen.ca. Spots are very limited. So uh, a lot of uh, what I've hear from the field placement option is a great experience. Uh, even if you are not looking to pursue certification, you can still take the field placement option to see if this is the field that you really want to go into and invest some time practicing out there in the field uh, and seeing if it's actually what you want to do as a professional career capacity. And, it, and gain that experience. You also do a lot of networking with the placements that you're in. So the BCB, BCBAs that are supervising you can possibly hire you uh, if you're a great field placement student. There, you can also grow your reference list. Graduate schools uh, are looking for both field placement or field experience re uh, references as well as academic references. So you can build your reference list for application to graduate schools or build your resume and your CV for applying to um, organizations. The other interesting thing you could do in a field placement option is your BCBA may want you to be involved in a research project. We do a lot of presentations and research and practice for conferences with either posters or writing papers, and you can present or be a co-author to a poster or a presentation for uh, conferences that behavior analysts are involved in worldwide uh, and internationally. Uh, examples of some field placement options is a school-based placement. We've had a relationship with the Edmonton Catholic Board uh, in the past with their GIST program. 
We also have some rapport and relationship with some group homes for either adolescents or adults and some day programs for adults with disabilities and also some private psychology clinics doing behavioral assessments and therapy. So the re uh, admission requirements is that you have a letter of intent drawn up. Um, there's guidelines on the website, a resume or a CV and a transcript. So you upload these documents to our um, uh, application button, which we'll explain later. And you uh, also have to have completed 60 university credits in order to apply. For McEwen University students, you need to have 281 and 385 to apply. One common question I do have is, can I apply while I'm in Psych 385? And the answer is yes. You don't have to have your grade yet because as a McEwen student, we have access to your transcripts. So if you're applying for winter, um, and you just took 385 in the fall, you can apply in the fall to get in for winter, even though you don't have your grade yet in, in Psych 385. So the admission is competitive. We have fall and winter intakes, and you would apply online at uh, the website there. Uh, if you have any questions, you email vicka at mcewen.ca. The tuition and fees, this is an example only for non McEwen students. Uh, I think I mentioned in the past, you don't have to be a McEwen student to apply to BICA. You can be uh, external. You can be currently completing a bachelor's degree at another university and also apply as an open study student and taking the courses for BICA. We have a few um, students at the U of A who are currently taking some of the BICA courses at the same time. So that's an option. Uh, and this is an example of student, an open study student who needs all five courses. So this is an example of the two prerequisites and the three PABA courses. Uh, current McEwen students would also have different pricing based on their current program. And so you wanna visit the tuition and fees page for more information and up to the date information. So for our fall 2020 course delivery, uh, due to the current pandemic, uh, situation, COVID uh, crisis, uh, and post-pandemic, we are delivering our courses online in fall. So they will be uh, synchronous through our platform of Blackboard Collaborate. So that means that you're logging in to an online class at the same time every day or on the days of the course. So the Wednesday evening course, for example, is from 6 to 9. You'd be logging in every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Um, students will be participating in interactive lessons and group discussions. So how you're going to prepare for that is having a computer, a laptop, internet connection, and a headset. You want to review that course material and lecture multiple times after class. We want to uh, facilitate that successful self-paced learning. Instructors will communicate with uh, students through uh, their announcements, email, and Blackboard calendar. And uh, professors or instructors, our sessional instructors, are available for online office hours. Uh, you just need to email your instructor to book a time and they're available for some online uh, office hours. So this is the website, what the page looks like for the website, how to apply. When you go to the Behavioral Intervention Certificate of Achievement uh, webpage, uh, you'll see on the page, uh, you scroll down and you see the apply now button. Uh, you click that and you go through the step-by-step -step instructions to upload those documents. And thank you very much for listening and your time. Thank you, everyone. Um, so if you have any other questions, you can email us, bicca at mcewen.ca um, and visit mcewen.ca slash behavioral interventions. So now we will open it up uh, if you have any questions.